Welcome back to the Director's Garage. I am your host and resident idiot, more than ever, Michael. And today is another historic, historic Director's Garage episode of What's in the Box. But today, maybe I don't look like such an idiot. And that's thanks to Audio 46, the New York City and online headphone nirvana store that has the kind of gear that keeps a guy up late at night surfing page after page of drool-worthy, drool-worthy headphones and amps and cables and and God, anything you need or ever want to get your hands on. Uh, yeah, Audio 46 has got stuff for your head lust. <laughs> Whether it's Stax or Empire Ears or Sennheiser, Hi-Fi Man, k and you name it. If you can name it, if you have a dream, Audio 46 has your solution. I've been a customer there for years. I've got a massive what's in the box coming from a purchase I did just last week from Audio 46. I am honored that they have decided to back the director's garage. They certainly didn't have to, and we hear, well, we here. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> me here. <laughs> I have to say thank you to Audio 46 for furthering the zaniness that is this show. And nothing can be zanier than what is in this box. I feel bad. <laughs> Who the hell writes this stuff? <laughs> well, wait, that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> So I gave Audio 46 a short list of headphones that I was kind of interested in, and I asked them not to tell me what they were gonna send, right? I've been leaving my emails unopened just in case they slip something in there. I just want us to be able to do this together on camera, and I really haven't wanted to know what's in here until now. Cool. <laughs> Now, now, what's in this box could be a $1,000 headphone. It could be a $2,000 headphone. It could be a $5,000 headphone like Diana Ross. But we're going to find out together, and we're also going to find out what it sounds like. So I got to tell you, I am so excited about these partnerships and the way they're turning out. I thought that last episode was an absolute blast where we're totally blind cutting into something and we have no idea what it is we're getting. And and we're in the same boat today. Uh, I am thrilled. Whatever's in this box, it's going to be cool, right? And, and I can feel the anticipation. I can feel, I, I mean, I know we're, you know, I'm taping and all of that, but I, I just feel right here this like, wow, you know, this could be anything. And, and it's that unknown, that factor of like, what are we getting? And, and you know, is it going to be cool? Is it going to be, eh? Is it going to be, you know, whatever it is, it's going to be exciting. And that's, that's really the, the great thing. So with that, let's do a little slicing and dicing. Are you a little bit excited? Are you a little, just, this, I, this, I'm so excited. I think this is awesome. What's your bet at this point? Do you think it's going to be... 1500 bucks? You think it's going to be 300 bucks? Maybe they sent something cheap. They could have sent something cheap. I wouldn't be disappointed because, you know, it is me. <laughs> the douchebag with the knife. I'm glad they're even talking to me. All right, here comes something. Boom. You ready? Holy, holy. I'm no genius, but I know enough to know that the Noble Sultan is their flagship headphone. Audio 46 just hooked us up. Holy God. Thank you. So oh my God. This is. Dudes. God, this is so bitchin'. Guys, I'm, I don't know Noble that well, but even I know. This is a flagship headphone. This is a flagship, flagship headphone. This thing flies in the $3,000 range. Audio 46 just kicked it out of the park. 
This is unreal. This is unreal. Look at this thing. Kind of like a shoebox. <laughs> the Sultan of S Mark Knopfler, line one. <laughs> okay, the Sultan of Sound. Okay, well, let's see what the Sultan of Sound looks like. Ready? Oh, oh, oh. See now, now what I like about this, headphone companies either go with like the big presentation box or they go rugged. This is the rugged experience. This is like, let's go shoot something. You know what I mean? Let's go on a boat. Let's go on a ski trip. You're not going to hurt this headphone. I have not seen these in person. I don't know what they look like. I just know the name and I know that the Sultan is the top of the top for Noble, which is an outstanding audio brand, by the way. Okay, here we go. Three, two. Oh, holy shit. Look at these. This is like, take that Odin. Look at this, guys. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Guys, we gotta get the B-roll going on this. Yeah, take a look at that. What I'm noticing here, without going into the box, I'm just gonna talk about the looks for a second because this retains the noble audio sort of look, which is that, that sort of machined aluminum around the outside. So you know just by looking at these, they're noble. They still have the noble sort of stamp on them that just makes them, but man, when you get to this side, you take a look at the burl that's, that's overlaid. This is like, 64 Audio should take note of this. This is how you do it. This is how you do a metal headphone with with, with an overlay, with an inlay on it. And let's investigate. I'm gonna go a little further into the box first. So these Noble Bands popped out. We've got a card. This is a warranty card. Uh, one of the tips has broken loose. There's a tip on the loose. Uh, wizard, so it's a wizard. I think wizard is their custom line. I don't know a lot about Noble, and I'll try and look it up. And when we get to the sound check on these, which we'll do, uh, I'll have more information on them. So let's go back into the box. So we've got a brush here for sort of cleaning. And it looks like there's a little magnet on this. Is this magnetic? Yes, it is. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Okay, let's go back and look at tips. We've got a little bit of everything. There's some foam, there's some silicone, there is a beautiful soft case here. This is a velvety, melvety kind of thing. Dig in this case, kind of leathery. This feels like leather with maybe a, a velvet inner lining. Um, Noble is sort of embossed into the case and uh, it's nice. It's, this is a nice functional case, maybe more so than some of the other ones I've even uh, uh, looked at. This, this is actually something I might actually carry with me. Um, magnets on the front and here that keep it nice and closed. I think in a bag, this is a really solid way to go. And I mean, let's face it, if you're traveling, that's like tornado grade protection on your $3,000-ish headphones, you know? <laughs> Okay, so back to the prize here. What have we got? I would tell you this, these are weighty. They are hefty, like they feel solid. Um, I don't know anything about the construction of these. We're gonna look them up as we go, but I think first we're gonna just get a listen going and then we'll, uh, and then we'll uh, take, take a look at what we've been listening to. I think it'll be a little more fun that way to just go, oh, these are, you know, whatever. They sound dynamic, they sound this, and then I'll be totally wrong and you'll think I'm an idiot, which you do anyway. So I'm clearing the deck and let's talk about the headphones for a second, their construction. Uh, and I'm gonna start with the cable. And what I would say right away is this is a hefty, gorgeous cable uh, very high end this is an eight wire braid it looks to me maybe it's six I don't know I can't count that high and uh, down to a four these are four wire braids up to the headphone uh, the headphone have a two pin arrangement on them it's two pins in clearly the cable is weighty. It's got a beautiful dual noble yoke for the V. Um, works, looks like it would work very well. It's actually pretty clever. Super like this weightiness here. Everything about this thing is screaming quality to me. Like it's screaming to me like we're bringing our best, you know? Bam, tips. 
I am going back to my 10 Mac turbos because those are the safest place for me to start always. Love the 10 Mac turbos, they're in the link below. Very long neck uh, coming off of the earphone, so this is gonna seat fairly deep into the canal. We'll see if the 10 Macs work right now. Oh yeah, these are perfect. These are perfect. And I, I, I like the way they feel. Um, they're not too big on the, I, they looked a little larger than I thought on the, on the ear holes on the sound ports. Um, not at all. Really good seal, very good isolation. I'm, they're, they're doing a good job of blocking sound out out of the gate. It's going to be interesting to hear what these sound like. I mean, they're, they are really isolating, so I'm sorry if I'm going to be talking a little bit loud or weird or whatever. But I'm also interested to see how hard they are to drive. Uh, you know, more expensive headphones tend to need a little more amplification. This is a three and a half millimeter, which means that, you know, this does not have the greatest power known to man. Uh, I may find myself changing this out to either the KN8 or I could be going with the computer arrangement or something. We'll figure it out, but let's take a listen. Let's start off with something tasty. A little Bowie. Ooh. Very clean. This is a very interesting sound. There's a lot of detail happening off the bat. And there's a holographic thing happening. There's a, there's like a presentation. This is an audiophile experience. God, these sound gorgeous. Oh, these have got to, these have got to go up against the Odin. But then there's insane speed happening here. Oh, the mids on this and the mid to mid bass. Holy shit. God, I just want to listen to this Bowie all night long. This sub bass is rattling my eyeballs. Holy sh! These things are bringing frequency all over the place. And they're fairly efficient. This is a nice loud setting. Nothing too crazy. Plenty of room for gain. Oh man, these are, these are another level. I want a pair. Audio 46. This is near the top of anything I've heard in an IEM ever. That's that good. Bass is crazy. Detail, crazy. Treble, super detailed. Maybe pushing a little bright. I wanna hear some more stuff on it. Oh, it's so tight, so fast. Oh, I want to go to the land of ice and snow. Zeppelin, Zeppelin is killing it on these headphones. It's, it's so good. It's so good. I'm going to be up all night now. Oh, shh. It's got drive. It's got bass. It's got detail. It's full range. It's a presentation. It's, it's, oh my God, this is like one of the best I've ever heard. I'm gonna go to the Stairway to Heaven of uh, in-ear monitor list audition tracks. Bass is so powerful, but there's not an ounce of bloat on it. It's just full kicking, head thumping bass. Just this is so far into Summit Fi, I can't see land. Okay, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop, but I got to stop. 
this video will be 75 minutes long of me just listening to music. That's how good these are. I'm okay. Now it's time for us to be big boys and let's go find out what it is I've been listening to. I mean, I know this is the top of the line headphone from Noble Audio and I've I've respected Noble. Not I got to be honest, not traditionally my favorite brand in the world. This is something else. This is something else. I don't know what this is, but we're going to find out right now. Noble Audio. audio. $3,000. Seven drivers. 10 millimeter dynamic. Okay, that's where the kick is coming from. Two electrostatics. Tight yet extended base. They're not kidding. Detailed mids. Four nulls balanced armature. The mids are special on this, though. Dual electrostatic super tweeters. They're doing it right. I don't know what they're doing, but they're, they're doing it right. Okay. I can tell you right away, these desperately need to go up against the Odin. This is this is a true Summit Fi contender of an IEM. So my world has been shaken by these. This is special. And we're going to find out how special it is. Out of the gate, now look, there's a newness factor because I haven't heard these before. But they blew me away. I mean, what you saw minutes ago was blown away. Blown away quality, blown away detail, blown away bass, blown away imaging, blown away sound stage. It was a, it was like great tower speakers jammed into my ears. It was fantastic. Uh, I can't. I when we when I shut this show off, I'm going to go back and do more listening because these are so good. Okay, so shootout to come yes we have a viewer headphone that's the same class as the odin and 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 we'll definitely put probably be bringing that to the sultan shootout because the sultan can swing Aww. i had to i just thought of that just now i'm so sorry <sighs> warn the kids warn the kids okay uh so maybe a three-way shootout I would be most remiss if I didn't mention that all of these headphones, all of these headphones, the Odin, where's the Odin at? The Odins don't have a cable right now because I'm using the cable for something else. We've got the Odins and now we've got these. And all of these are available at audio46.com. And I cannot think and swear at Audio 46 enough, because now I want a pair of these. Now the director's garage needs a pair of these in-house. Because this is next, this is crazy, crazy good. So I'm going to ask you guys again to please today click the like and subscribe so we can keep crazy great things coming in like the Noble Sultan. I can't make these kinds of deals without the subs growing and without you guys to keep watching. Um, the views, the watches, the likes, all of that stuff factors in to keep the, the good headphones flowing in here. Uh, it makes every difference in the world that you click that button uh, and watch the show. It doesn't happen. None of this happens without you guys. So I'm grateful for you guys. Now, there's still a hot category flagship headphone still to be revealed. Um, that's still sitting in a box right now. <laughs> Waiting uh, for me to scratch. It's like an itch I can't quite scratch yet. I'm dying to open this box for you guys on camera. I just got to hold off because I've got... Now I've got some other things sitting here that need attention. So we're going to get to the box. I swear we're going to get to that what's in the box. I, I got to get some of these shootouts done because people want their headphones back. So I can't hold on to them forever. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I, I am so excited by what I heard today. You've been watching me for a long for a long time uh, do this show. I've never heard that.
I've never heard that. The closest, the closest thing to stopping me dead in my tracks was maybe when I heard the KSE 1500 for the first time. Um, that's the only thing that, but this has bass that the that the KSE 1500 can't can't even come close to touching. We've got so much more to do, and I can't wait to get it to you. So I've got to get cutting this episode so you get to see it. And to do that, I've got to end this episode. And I'm not kidding. Like, I am condensing of all that mute. Sorry. Of all the music that I was listening to, I recorded about an hour of footage of me just listening to songs because I couldn't stop listening. It was that good. It was a, it's a headphone that drives you from track to track. What does this sound like? What does that sound like? Wait a minute, this is special. What does this sound like? It's like that. And we're going to get to so much more of it in our next episode when I do the formal sound check on these. I can't wait to get to those. I've got a shootout coming up next and then a, more unboxings on the way. And I bought another thing today, another crazy thing that was on my short list. That's going to be a, probably a week or two away from getting here. But it's in addition to the crazy, crazy out of this world headphone purchase. So lots of crazy coming this way and nothing is crazier than what I heard today. Make sure you stay tuned to this channel and have the subscription in the little bell because you want to hear what's coming next from this. This is worth the price of admission. Trust me. I'll be back. I'll see you before you know it. Whoa.